So I'm back with another music review. I didn't think I was going to have to do this anytime soon. I don't review every album. But Escobar season has returned. That's what we thought. Evidently we were wrong. Because he had one day to himself. And then that one day, it was hard because the album was not everywhere. A lot of people couldn't find it. But he finally in rotation today. But Beyonce and Jay-Z came and cut his throat. So they about to take all nine shine. So, everything is love drop. Beyonce and Jay-Z group effort that we've been waiting years on. Didn't think it would ever come out. I'm going to try not to make this too long, but let me get into it. So, it starts off with Summer, and it has a little, a little mellow reggae type vibe. The beat go hard, though. The beat go hard. And I thought Jay-Z was just going to do ad libs. Beyonce had a lot of the beginning of the track. Then Hov came on there, rip it. Remember what I said, Jay-Z rip it. Because that's the theme of the album. In my opinion. So, I'm going to just try to keep this going fast. Ape shit. That's, that's track track two. They got a video. I haven't seen it yet. I'm going to watch this after I finish this, this video. It's not really my vibe. It doesn't go hard. Like, in, in terms of what is, is in right now, I, I guess you could say it go hard. But it's more, it's like a young thug type vibe that's not for me right there. So it's kind of eh. But Jay Z verse. <laughs> Jay Z, <laughs> Jay Z right there, baby. Boss. This one, this one has kind of like the, that normal Beyonce type vibe of her music. They talking that big boy, big girl talk. And at this point, at this point, look, just chalk it up. Whole kid and everything. Like, whole killing everything on the album. It's not saying Beyonce isn't or anything, but, like, you, she gonna sound good on everything or whatever. But, like, just Jay-Z, like, or rapping, period. Like, sometimes somebody might just spit a little cool verse and just, ah, that. Jay-Z killing everything, dog. Uh, nice. Whole still going in. The beat, not special. Like the song, they have like some chants and stuff. I want to say they got like Swiss beats on here, maybe. Uh, like the chants in the hook, even J even Jay Z parts on like the bridge and stuff, isn't the greatest. Like the song is eh, whole verses is yeah yeah seven one three because they put it down in seven one three. I don't know where that's at. Where is there's, there's Brooklyn, there's Houston. Where where is it? I I don't know what seven one three is. But the uh this is this a whole track pretty much like whole spits on, on the whole thing. Basically it but Beyonce on the hook. So I really like that. That whole was just like three verses in and like I think a little piece of a verse in the back. Like he just rapping his ass off on here. Friends, my friends better than your friends. They talk about their relationship with the people. Jay Z says I'm a I'm I'm not a member of the Beehive. I love Beyonce. Beyonce is just so cold, but I try not to drool over too much because Jay-Z one of my favorite rappers that's living. Well, is my favorite rapper that's living. So I don't want to be disrespectful. That's why I try not to drool over Beyonce. But Beyonce, I, lo I love you. I love Beyonce. Uh, but I'm not a member of the Beehive. So I listen to Beyonce, but it's not like Hove. Like Hove, when I, I hear him spit his verse and he's talking about uh, like his nephew and Tata and all them, like I've been hearing about them in the music. So I don't know him, but I feel like I kind of know him just from listening to his music. So I, I feel his part a little bit more with his relationship with, with his friends and stuff. Heard about us. If you don't know about us, you heard about us. That's kind of self-explanatory. What the subject matter is, it's hard. It's hard. Trust, just trust me on that. Yeah. The Black Effect. Maybe one of my favorite songs on here because of the content and stuff. They're talking this just strong black militant stuff. And he talks about, uh, I forgot what he did, the documentary on. And then he talk about Trayvon Martin is next. He says something about permanent. And I'm growing my growing my fro, but I'm not going to put a permanent. Like, that's my favorite line on the song. Like, it, just, it was just something slick, real slick. Uh, so that's probably my favorite song on, on it. Love Happy. Just talking about their relationship. And about the ups and downs in it and how people who hate on him and talk shit. But they still weather the storm at the end of the day. It's still them, even though they've been through everything. 
And knowing what we know of them, the Lemonade and the 444, and just their arc, I love this track because it's just like autobiographical. And they letting you in a little bit because we already know a lot of stuff like just from the outside in. But to hear it from in song, uh, song form with both of them, like Lemonade was Beyonce's story. Jay-Z was 444. So just to hear them both on a track and talking about their relationship being that it's the joint effort. And the, the reason this joint effort is because of their relationship. So it's fitting. So... Uh, my favorite tracks on here is Summer. Ape shit I'm not feeling too much. Uh, let me see, let me see. Heard About Us, one of my favorite, favorite joints. Black Effect and Love Happy. So that's my favorite ones, but pretty much about the whole album is jamming. Except for Ape shit is not, it's jamming, but it's just not my style. So, uh, Kanye been driving like seven, tra seven tracks. This is nine tracks. It feels more of an album than Kanye stuff, being that it's just two more songs. But Kanye has tracks on there that's like two minutes and stuff. It kind of like like cheating. It feels like an interlude or something. Like Jay-Z in every song is four to six minutes. So it's a lot more music. For, for nine songs, it feels more like, I think this is probably longer than Illmatic and stuff. Like, like it is a lot of music to say it's short. But I give this... I give this like, eh. overall, I give it like an 8 out of 10. Like, whole verses, whole verses is 10s. What, what Jay-Z do on this album, like, he's rapping. He raps on here better than 444. And to me, just his flow and stuff, it just, maybe the subject matter on 444 was a little deeper. But, like, his just flow on here is just stupid. His flow in it, he's rapping on here is a 10. Like, I'm not, I'm not putting it down on Beyonce. I'm not saying it's her fault. Like, she's incredible on her stuff, too. But, like, like some of the hooks, some of the hooks and stuff is kind of mediocre. Like, Ape Shit is, I don't really like Ape Shit. I really don't like that track at all. Uh, some of the beats is, like, in between. Uh, so, I, I give it a, a strong uh, 8, uh, 8 to 8.5. I, I give it 8.5. I'm just being a little hard on it because... Every song has stuff that I love about it, but then they got certain parts of, of some songs, the songs that I'm not crazy about, that I don't like on the song. Like, I'll be waiting for the little part to get off. I'll be like, mm. and then be like, oh, now. Yeah. So, but overall, 8.5. I get 8.5. Being whole, been waiting on this forever. Love, love is everything. I think that's the name of it. Uh. Fuck with your boy, like, comment, subscribe, be the greatest and the most hated. What are your thoughts on the album? Have you listened to it? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Beehive, if I if I didn't give it a high enough rating, don't come for me. Follow your boy, though, sub. Peace out.